Now, uh, it's 23 minutes past six, and finding your way around towns and cities can be difficult enough at the best of times. But imagine trying to navigate them if you're blind or partially sighted. Yeah, the National Federation of the Blind in the UK is calling for so-called floating bus stops, which are separated from the pavement by a cycle lane, to be removed. They say they are chaotic, confusing and dangerous for the visually impaired. As Thomas McGill now reports. You see, there's, that curb's not very high. Mm -hmm. um, they're lowering all the curbs, it's all the same colour. It all merges into one. Um... Sarah is visually impaired and relies on her guide dog, Nelly, to get around. But since this so-called shared space was introduced outside Leicester train station, separating the footpath from the bus stop by a cycle lane, Nelly has become disorientated, leaving Sarah feeling vulnerable and unable to use some of the city's public transport. You could just get on and off a bus that pulled to a pavement. You'd have no, none of this conflict between cyclists, e-scooters and other micro-mobility. Um, and I'd just do it and just walk into town. But now I just won't do it because it's too dangerous and you're thinking, what's going to happen to us? Is somebody going to hit us? It's just terrifying. And it's not just those who are visually impaired who are at risk. These near misses between other pedestrians and cyclists were recently caught on camera by campaigners. In Leicester, there's concern the design is confusing, badly planned and dangerous. One guy come down here and he must have been doing it at least 25 mile an hour. Nearly took, if he just took somebody out, they'd have been hospitalised. I'm always turning around, I'm scared of getting run over. But not only by cycles, it's them scooters, electric scooters. People fly past and I've been knocked over nearly a couple of times, so it is a bit unsafe. So something needs to be done. This is not a safe place to cycle or walk as a pedestrian. Now campaigners like Sarah Gayton wants the new government to ban floating bus stops and redesign those that exist to make it safer for the visually impaired. Whilst we were out filming with Sarah, this happened. Uh, so I got... If you're telling me this has to stop here like this, you know, I've just jumped out my skin because that e-scooter flying past me. You know, how can this be safe? They can see us. A near miss from a passing e-scooter going the wrong way up a cycle lane. Absolutely abhorrent and it has to stop. They're not working. They haven't worked since they've been put in for blind and visually impaired people. And it's time for a change, a change of design that will allow the bus, like it always did, to come back up to the pavement. So blind, visually impaired people can get on and off the bus directly from the pavement without having to cross or step into a life cycle lane. Well, these floating bus stops and the segregated cycleways have been designed to improve safety for cyclists by separating them from all other vehicles. Now, widely welcomed by those who use them, some have concerns about their design. The Department of Transport says accessibility on our roads and pavements is an absolute priority. We are working with disability groups and local authorities to ensure all concerns are taken seriously. Sarah McMonagall cycles to work every day in London and says her journey is now much safer since segregated cycle lanes were introduced. She would like to see more in other towns and cities, but says it's important they are designed in accordance with the guidance. I must go through maybe six, seven, eight floating bus stops on my way to work and I think they're a great innovation. They mean that you don't have to kind of mix with the traffic uh, when you're on the same route as a bus. There's actually pretty good guidance in place for how they should be designed but unfortunately we're not always seeing that, that guidance adhered to. So for Cycling UK we really want to see better compliance and make sure that we are actually designing bus stops in a way that keeps cyclists safe but also keep pedestrians safe, particularly visually impaired people. More of this likely in the future. Sarah is hoping a petition recently handed into the government will bring an end to these shared spaces so her and Nelly can get their independence back. Thomas McGill, BBC News.